Okay, so I did a video on how to bring a character from DAS into Unity. This is just a follow-up, a little, a little extra on if you don't use Decimate in um, DAS, which costs uh, 100 US, you can use Cruncher, which actually costs about 90 euros, so it might even be more, I don't know, but Cruncher is pretty good because it creates all your LED, LODs for you and stuff like that. And uh, I'm very happy to say that it does work with DAS uh, models, which is one of my biggest fears, because if you look at the quality of these, they're, they're very high, the amount of vertices there and the amount of triangles. But just watch how good Cruncher is. In this instance, now, I've, I've had trouble with Cruncher because I've been using some models that I exported from SketchUp, but this is really good. You can see the quality is on 0 0.87. That seems to be max, actually. And the quantity is what, 211,000 polygons or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to click a little bit down. Now, this causes Unity a big trouble because it goes away and compresses. But as you can see, she has been um, lowered in polygons a lot. Now, I missed that jump, actually. So let's try it again. So look at all the polygons on her face. And I'm going to drop it quite a far way down. You can see a big difference there, huge difference in the amount of polygons. Um, it's gone down from 210,000 or something to 108,000. And, and she still looks pretty good. Like that's her clothing and everything. The original one here. Now, unfortunately, I can't click off that wireframe because then it discards things. It's a bit annoying. Uh, why can't I do that? But um, I'll knock it down even further, right? And that is incredible. Down to 41,000. Cruncher are actually really, really doing a good job. Eh? You can see the edges of her eyes. I'm messing up a little bit there. Um, and no doubt that the clothing, maybe? No, it still looks pretty good. Um, to be honest, given like the amount of polygons I need and stuff, I don't mind if the if the characters are a little bit like this. Uh, this might even be too low for what I need. Now, let's go a little bit lower and see what happens. Yep, you can see parts of her head her band there and her hair are starting to mess up, but still quite nice. Uh, fingers looking a bit blocky compared to them ones. Um, now that's almost nothing the quality, Let, that's what happens if you just set it to zero this is the lowest possible quality you can bring a DAS character, whoa now that is scary man oh and the breasts it comes through the underlying body is there that's amazing really isn't it look at that the hair is represented, everything this is 5,000 polygons. I know it looks less than that actually, but the shape of the body is quite well uh, preserved. Uh, and that looks quite scary. That could be easily, I think, maybe not easily, but your furthest away LOD, your ridiculously far LOD, before you uh, flick to uh, a static sort of 2D image, I guess. I don't know. Looks like teeth or something there. Um, but I reckon if that was miles away, you know, even from here, I can't really tell the difference. Of course, I have to apply it. All right, let's apply it. So from up here, yeah, I can tell slightly. I mean, you'd be like, is that a woman in a dress or is that a weird zombie? But that... <laughs> That is because uh, that's been decimated too far. It's ridiculous. But if we bring it back up, can you bring it back up after you've decimated and applied? Let's see. 5,000. Uh, we don't need that, right? We want about 50,000, maybe. Is that too much? Yeah, that's 91,000 there, right? Let's apply that. And when I'm quoting these numbers here, I'm quoting this quality, this quantity here. 
it's not like I'm massively educated on this subject, just been playing around. So this woman is over a hundred thousand polygons less than this woman. And what does she look that much worse? Not really. Not at all. She looks pretty good. The, the, the weirdness on the hair there is because it's casting shadows on itself. If you just turned off the shadow casters there, you'd be alright. So, could we not get down even further? You know, That is a large amount less. I mean, we're down at point 0.3. Let's change to point 0.2. And I realise I'm just experimenting at this point. It's maybe not that interesting, but it proves that cruncher is uh, really useful. And uh, you don't actually have to worry about decimator if you can't find it and it keeps disappearing or you can't afford it. Yeah, that, that's uh, 66,000 polygons or whatever it is. Not bad. I could probably handle that. Well, it's going to be a PC game, but I'm not. It's not the most optimized, and that and my frame rate keeps going down. But all I know is I don't want the absolute top quality from uh, Daz. Well, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go down a little bit further. I'm going to go to 15 here. And I think uh, that would probably be almost overkill. But as you can see, it works beautifully. And if you zoom right out, I'm sure there would be really no difference between this woman here who's who's uh... what was she? 15,000? 6,000 polygons really? before 5,000 was a bad one, so 6,000 there that can't be right compared to 210 there could be right, you can notice the difference in your sort of facial recognitions but if you zoom out like that, you, you can't tell so you're already saving uh, 204,000 polygons on every draw is that, is that correct? am I doing the Am I talking nonsense? Either way, it's saving you a hell of a lot, and from here you definitely can't tell. In fact, the one on the left looks worse quality. So, that's about it. Cruncher works astoundingly well on these things, and it actually doesn't even need different parts of the clothes and everything. It's just, it does the whole model for you. Let's see if I can get it down to 0 0.1.0. So the quality's gone back to 41,000. I don't know why I said six before. See, that's 29. I get confused. Either way, as you can see, this this would remove the pressure from your graphics card immensely. And still, not bad, not bad. Perhaps if you're in a conversation, you want to use a higher LOD. But even that, I reckon, is. People are not going to expect that much from an indie dev, you know. They're going to be amazed how you even managed to get a character in the first place. He looks so cool, thanks to the power of Daz, Unity, Cruncher, and all of the cool people in the community. Right. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.